Good day. Well, it's Scott Pickin. I'm the CEO and founder of Wealth Migrate. And today I want to empower my fellow South Africans. I've woken up this morning with incredibly disappointing news. And I wanted to share with you how you can protect your wealth against Zuma. You might notice behind me here that my South African flag is actually at half mast. Now, why is it at half mast? Well, I believe that we've had a death. We've had a death to the future of Nelson Mandela's vision. We've had a death to one country. We've had a death to one vision. We've had a death to a country that wants to go together, to build together, to build a great country for all the people. The people that unfortunately live up on the hill there in the squatter camps, to the people that live here on Tyson Island. It was one country, it was a vision, and we wanted to become a great country. And now we are run by a clown. We are run by an inept, corrupt, and quite frankly, all he's interested in is looking after himself. He doesn't care about the people that live in this island, but more importantly, he doesn't care about the people that live on top of that hill because his continual corrupt, inept, and basically incompetent policies continue to affect and dilute every single person's wealth on this, in this country. Do you know that emerging economies are on the rise? Around the world, emerging economies have got better. The Rand has been one of the best performing currencies in the last two years. I swear that Zuma is a currency broker. Every single time the Rand gets strong, he does something stupid to make the Rand spike. And this morning before we've even woken up, the Rand has lost over 10% from where it was yesterday. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is your wealth. You have lost over 10% of your wealth in the last 24 hours because of that corrupt, inept, and idiot that is running our country. And my flag will remain at half-mast until that idiot leaves the, the presidency of this country because he no longer deserves to be in that. But what's that got to do with you? Well, I am angry, and I am angry, and I'm allowed to be angry. I'm a passionate South African. I've lived on the continent of Africa for over six generations. But what I am not stupid is that I also half come from Zimbabwe. And I've seen another political leader who cared nothing for his people, cared nothing for his country, and only cared for himself. Back in 99, Zimbabwe was the best performing economy in Africa. Yes, you heard me right. The best performing economy in Africa. And in less than 18 months, it was the worst performing economy in the world. Yes, you heard me right. 18 months. It was the worst performing economy in the world. In fact, hang on, I want to show you something. So it's quite funny. I was actually up in Zim three weeks ago and I bought the currency. So this is the old currency here. And um, you, might, you might not know this, but uh, in the 1980s, the, uh, the Zim dollar was actually stronger than the Rand. And there were times when the Zim dollar was actually stronger than the US dollar. But um, I bought the biggest notes that, uh, that they've got here which is effectively uh, $200 trillion. Uh, where's it gone now? There we are. Uh, no, 200, anyway. I can't find it right now. Oh, there, $20 trillion. Uh, $20 trillion. That's, uh, so, so what was quite interesting, if you actually had, um, so if you might not be able to see that, let me, just, let me just show you what happens when a political leader takes the entire uh, economic background of a country down and, and this is all the rest of it now just a matter of interest if you'd gone in because in, in this thing here it says i promise to the bearer the bearer on demand that's what it says it says i promise to pay the bearer on demand if you'd gone into the zim bank and said i want uh, my demand and i want them all in one cent coins which were in copper at the time and you'd gone and melted that down just with this coin i eh? forget all the other ones that were printed just this 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 coin you would, um, in the, the scrap metal value in copper terms was worth more than 500 billion US dollars. You would have been the wealthiest man in the world. You would have been wealthier than Bill Gates. So this, this is really material, South Africans. This is important for everybody. It's important for the man that's living in the house on the hill. It's important for the doctor and dentist, the secretary, the professional, the high net worth individual, the middle class person. Do you know that the wealthiest people have already been investing their money overseas? The wealthiest people have already been you know, buying uh, properties and businesses that could get them passports. Do you know that the wealthiest people have already been investing in direct property? Why? Because they have the best advisors. And if you've watched any of the the webinars that I've done over the last couple of years or the videos that I've done over the last couple of years, I've been doing that since the age of 22. I'm now 40. I live here in Tyson Island, Neisner, South Africa. I love the place. 
But I tell you what, I don't love our leadership. I don't trust our leadership. I don't trust the RAND. I don't trust the South African economy that's being driven by a inept, a corrupt, and incompetent idiot. And so for me, I hedge my bets. I don't go to the casino and bet on red or black and hope that I, my, my, my family and my future will be successful. I make sure that I hedge my bets. I make sure that I invest in first world assets. I invest in first world countries. I invest in England, in America, in Australia. I invest in commercial buildings with long-term leases that pay me in US dollars. And so this morning when the RAND is sliding, I'm actually excited. Because what's basically happened is my incomes have gone up and yet my costs have stayed the same. Now, how many other people have that peace of mind? How many, I mean, I'm angry, but I'm not scared. Because I know I've got a plan. I've got a plan B. I've got peace of mind. I've been thinking about this and planning about this for basically half my life because I saw what happened in Zimbabwe in the 80s. I've seen what's happened all through Africa. I've seen what's happened in Russia and Brazil. It's not just an African problem. It's an incompetent problem of leadership in the emerging world and it will continue to happen. And so if you think it's going to be different, then I would rather suggest you go to the casino and just bet on red or black and you might make a lot of money and you might just lose it all. Or you could be a far more sophisticated person and go and make calculated investments for you and your family. And you know, just as an example, I invest in medical buildings. Let's just take the medical buildings that we've been investing in in America. We've got over $100 million worth of buildings we've invested in the last three years. They're earning us a cash on cash return of 8 to 11%. That's in US dollars. The average REIT is paying you between 45 to 5%. We are nearly double the returns cash on cash returns. That's not taking into account the capital growth that you would get, which basically means the internal rate of return. You're looking at 13 to 20 percent when you take that into account. And that's not even taking into account the Zuma incompetence and RAND devaluation that obviously will have another big impact on the returns. And so each and every you know, month I get paid my, by my medical centers. Now, you know what's really interesting? People say to me, well, what impact is Trump going to have on the medical centers? Well, you know, quite frankly, in 2008, when the market crashed, do you know that we didn't lose one tenant? Our partners didn't lose one tenant? Because no matter what happens in an economic crisis, people need doctors. Doctors are always in demand. And the, the thing is, if you think about it, think of any medical building you've ever gone to. Doctors never leave. You always need to go to the same place. The doctor might move on, but the medical premise never leaves. And the third thing is, is that doctors are very good at being doctors but they're not the best in terms of finances. And so they sign long-term favorable leases. It's an absolute no-brainer. And now through the Wealth Migrate platform, you can invest overseas. You can set up and invest in these buildings from $1,000. We, we all included in the platform using technology. You've got the bank accounts, you've got the tax, you've got the compliance, all set up in one place. And you can literally get started from $1,000. You can hedge your bets and diversify across America, England, Australia from as little as $1,000. You can invest in medical buildings, in multifamily, in new developments, in student accommodation. You can diversify across asset classes, across residential and commercial. But most importantly, you don't have to deal with a hassle. You don't have to be a super millionaire or billionaire to be able to get on a plane and, and go and invest $5 million and spend three to six months setting it all up, your tax, your structures, your bank account. And the, you know, that's not even to mention trying to find a good deal. And so on this morning, this beautiful morning as the sun comes up here in South Africa, I unfortunately have had to drop my flag to half mast because for me, it's a very, very sad day in the future of South Africa. It's a day that will be remembered when Nelson Mandela's legacy was finally killed off. It was a day when, when really our country and the vision of our country has fallen apart and our incompetent leadership is really now taking it down the toilet. Now, does that mean I want to leave the country? No, it doesn't. I'm passionate about this, South, this country. I'm going to continue to do what I can to solve the problems of this country. But what I'm not going to do is hedge my bets on this incompetent leadership. And I really urge and empower you to not do that too. If you need questions, ask me. I'll help you. I have a book, Property Going Global. It was actually, you know, it was, it was endorsed by Clem Sunter. Read the book. 
I will teach you how to invest offshore. I looked at over 16 different markets. Be careful of running off and just getting an investment because you need a passport. Yes, I have a passport. My son has a passport. If I need to pack up and leave tomorrow morning, I can. But that's planning, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I learned one thing from, from two of my mentors who are both US dollar billionaires that live in Pretoria. People that react lose money. People that are proactive win, no matter what variables or scenarios come. And so I'm ready. If everything was to fall apart today, I can get on an airplane and I can leave. Are you ready? Do you have that peace of mind? Do you have that plan B for you and your family? If not, come to wealthmigrate.com. We can help you. Speak to one of our team. We can help you. We've been doing this for, I've been doing this now since 1999. And if you can do the math, that's 18 years. We've helped over two and a half thousand South Africans achieve this. Previously, I was only able to help the wealthiest of the wealthy, people with $100,000 or more. Now we can help everyone who has $1,000. We can help everyone that wants to take care and look after their future. And so that's all from me coming you know, live here from South Africa. And so I just want to finish off and I want to say, you know, this book, Property Going Global, has the answers. Wealthmigrate.com has the solutions. I always say to look after yourself is really easy. All you need is two things. You need the right information and you need the right partners. We've got the track record. We've got the credibility. And now we've got the solution to be able to help you. And I leave you with one thought. You really are, are if you have all your wealth in South Africa, and, and that means, you know, if this house here is, is fully paid for, you have all your wealth in South Africa. Because even if you've got money in your bonds, then you have wealth in South Africa. If all your wealth is in South Africa, you need to really, really start to think about your future. Because when I was in Zimbabwe three, three weeks ago, this entire wad of cash, which is trillions and trillions and trillions of Zimbabwe dollars, was bought with this note, one US dollar. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, trillions of Zimbabwe dollars was bought with one note, one US dollar. What are you doing with your wealth? Is your wealth in a first world currency, in first world assets, earning you a first world income? Or is your wealth tied to a very flaky ship with incompetent and corrupt leadership that could very well become this? Why take the gamble? Why take the gamble? I'm not saying leave South Africa, but why take the gamble when now everyone has the opportunity to earn these? each and every month. That's my choice to you. As Dolph DeRosso has said, there'll be three types of people in the future. There'll be those that watch what happens. There'll be those that take action. And there'll be those that wonder what happened. And unfortunately in Zim today, those people are living on their pensions and their pensions cannot even pay for dog biscuits. And they live in absolute abject poverty even though they spent their whole lives building up their wealth. Please don't be one of those people. I, I please ask you to take action and do something to empower yourself in your life. If, and if not for you, if you're too lazy or you're too scared, then please do it for your family. It is our responsibility to take control of our lives. It is our responsibility to empower ourselves. And it is our responsibility to not let leadership an economy or a currency affect our wealth. Empower yourself. Take control of your wealth. Thank you. Scott Picken, signing out. Cheers.